resembles like dog food. I don't know what dog food tastes like, but if I did, this is what it probably tastes like. Yeah, that doesn't look like food, but I can't stop watching. I think there's eggs in there as well. Oh. There's a massive market for this, you know. There's a, there's like millions of... Uh. The jalapenos are a nice thing. What? We need the hardcore metal music on. Oh, that's going in this video. Why am I doing this to myself? Say cheese. But... <laughs> so what one amateur I am. Well, whatever. New camera, guys. Canon 700D. I'm moving up in the world. What's up, guys? Streamer here. Welcome back to another video. So, it's time, finally time for me to get back to post, and I have a lot to talk about. Instead of talking about everything at once, I decided to just jump straight in with something that I'm doing right now. So, as you all know, I actually did a, a Juice Fast video, and I'm currently on Juice Fast Day 64. Holy crap, it's been longer than I thought. So I got to Juice Fast Day 64 and I went through basically a transformation. Uh, I'll be, I actually have it on my main channel, but for the sake of this, click the little thing up there. It should actually take you to the other video. And I tell you, it was a transformation like no other. I basically did, pushed out so many toxins that I went through a physical and spiritual shift. And if you want to know more about that, watch the video. I'll have a link to it and I'm going to put it on, on this channel. But basically, it rendered me unable to really talk. Uh, well, I, I could talk, but you know what I mean? So much stuff went through my head and it went through so many changes that it became impossible to vocalize. Because, like I said, that, like, like I was saying in the video, some things you simply cannot vocalize. And when you do uh, things like this, when you do certain fasts, there are some times when you just have to go inside and you really have to calculate things because I don't know what else I'd say other than blah. But anyway, a lot has happened since then. We've had Article 13, we've had the Brexit crisis, which honestly deserves its own video. And I know that this, 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 this is a health channel. Basically, the UK and the EU is going to shit. And in the meantime, I'm starving myself more than ever before. So much so that I've actually started a water fast uh, yesterday. And I actually did say that I was going to do this beforehand because once the juice fast got to the actual end of its cycle, I was going to transition into a water fast. Now that, now that I've done it, it's time for me to actually talk about it. And oh my god, it is the hardest thing I have ever, ever done. I have had no energy all day. And there's multiple reasons for that. Now, this water fast is actually quite unique. It is a water fast where I'm mainly basically just drinking tea. I'm having sauerkraut juice. It's not actually vegetable juice, but it's basically the offal from my uh, vegetable juice that my, my the, the, the dry parts from my old juice vegetables that I put into a, a 2.8 liter jar and I basically let it ferment and the water is infused with loads of probiotics and enzymes. I'm having that. I'm having coconut oil, which I need to have more of because it, because it gave me energy. However, I realized that what, on my juice fast, I actually made a very, 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 very big mistake, is that I was having too much sugar. And because of that, some parasites were still being preserved in the actual process. And these are the last parasites that I'm going to be trying to get up with this water fast. These are the ones that have been in your system for a long time. These ones are the hardiest. These ones are the ones that cause the most issues. Now, ultimately, guys, the reason why I'm, I'm watching this is because I want to go back to being normal. It's very, very difficult to live a quote-unquote normal life, that is to say, interact with the general public and doing all and, and uh, doing all this other stuff, unless and until I have actually got my digestion sorted. Because it would be nice to be able to take out a girl, you know, somewhere to actually go to a restaurant, or maybe go to like a family dinner, or maybe do all those things without being being the odd one out. Now, I could also do the alternative, that is to say, to surround myself with people of the same ilk. That is to say, people who like to eat very, very healthy, so it's very, very good. And I've got a ton of recipes. Piece that, that I'm going to do when this over because guys I tell you when this is done I am going to town on food I am going to literally eat a mountain but everything is going to be handmade I have a rule I only eat that which I make with my own hands most of the time like 90% of the time so it's a weird rule so I've got like quinoa pizza I'm going to make quinoa flour I'm going to make all sorts of stuff and you know buckwheat and well actually not not buckwheat because I've actually discovered that my blood type is B negative and because of that I'm very very sensitive to certain foods which does actually deserve its own video like I didn't actually realize that I love chicken well I knew that but what a weird thing to say I love chicken and the problem is, is that if your blood type B negative and blood type B in general should stay away from chicken and the reason for that is chicken uh, creates a lot of um, can cause a lot of autoimmune reactions in me 
And I didn't actually realize that. And also corn and wheat and all sorts of other stuff. And basically, all the stuff that I used to be eating. And I should be eating a lot more lamb, a lot more goat, um, a lot more quinoa and stuff like that. So I've got all the different diets sorted out. But for this, I'm basically going to be water fasting, and I, which is why I really want this water fast to go ahead because I have about, I'm going to try and go for at least seven days or more. My idea is to go for at least two, three weeks. Now, I've, I've got the holiday off. I, have a, I nearly have a free house. I should be having a free house in about a week's time. I've got the rent paid off. I've got all my bills paid off. I've got everything sorted, and I'm literally just going to be getting myself sorted for a water fast because, guys, Water fasting is not easy. It is the be all and end all of fasting. It is the most difficult, the most strenuous, the most dangerous fast that, that you could be doing. Especially, especially if you're still dealing with stress. Now, in my video uh, that I, hopefully you'll go and see about my transformation, I basically talked about how over the, like, basically synchronicity kicked in and my phone broke, like totally broke. It's downstairs soaking in rice. Um, at, at the moment because it, it was it was it was water damage basically and it's currently downstairs soaking in rice Which is a good way of uh, fixing your phone if you ever have a water damaged phone uh, You get isopropyl on alcohol 99% and you soak it in there for about 30 minutes And you take it out dry it off with a cloth for a few hours and, and then you dunk it in some rice uh, For about 48 hours now apparently that this is meant to be a very very magical method and I'm testing it out but even then I don't even want my phone on again because when I went through this transformation, literally, I just shut out everyone. I, I shut everyone out and I needed to. This is God basically saying to me, you've got to sort your own issues. So, currently water fast day two, I am dying. And I'm going to try and do this for two, three weeks. Uh, I'm back to posting regularly. And I have sponsored videos coming up because I have a couple of patrons. And uh, I've offered them, given them the offer to do some sponsored videos, as well as some video requests that I'm going to get through. Uh, all comments and messages and emails should have, should, should have been responded to. But as I've been basically AWOL, it's been quite difficult. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you later. Free now. Thanks for watching guys, I've been Freeman. If you like what you see, I have a main channel where I talk about all things non-health and health. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the DMs as well as an email that's currently in the description. If you want to make a request for a video, if you just want to support me, Patreon and PayPal links will be in the description. Any amount helps. Regardless, I'll still be here, still be posting. Freeman out and peace.